Okay, in this video what we want to talk about is how we use the timer off delay. Okay, I have a video that if you haven't seen about the timer on delay that might help be helpful if you watch first because I'm not going to repeat some of the information that is similar between the two. Okay, so I've set up a very simple program. I've got a basic green start button that's going to activate an output based off of some type of time differential. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab a timer off delay and this is located in the timer counter bin and I will select this. Addressing the timer off delay is exactly like how you address the timer on delay. So it's just T4 for the data table file and what number. In this case again we'll just use zero. Okay. Um, your time base works the exact same way. In this case we're just going to keep this at one second for uh, just keep it simple. We will set our preset for five. Okay. Now with your timer off delay you have your timer enable, you have your timer timing, and your timer done. By far the most commonly used contact off of your timer off delay is the timer done. Okay. The timer timing can be can be a little confusing. The timer enabled can be used as well. And uh, but we're going to start off with the timer done bit here, so you can kind of have an idea of how this works. Now, this is the one thing that people struggle with the most when it comes to the timer off delays. The fact that the done bit goes true as soon as the timer is enabled. Okay, so let's take a look at how this works. So I'm going to activate the green button and you will hear the solenoid go true right away because now watch the done bit. As soon as it starts that cylinder goes off. Okay, and it's on and I can hold this button forever and that cylinder will that cylinder will stay extended. But as soon as I let it go the timer starts timing and it's going to count to five seconds. After that five seconds the done bit is activated. So the example of this delays something turning off. That's why the done bit goes true right away. Okay, So I'll create a basic, uh, a basic circuit here with memory. Now just like the timer on delay you can always use the enable bit from the timer as your memory. Okay, and then I'll throw a stop button in here. Okay. And I am going to add in a light to show you how the timer timing works. Okay, so just uh, add that in. make this the green pilot light here. Alright, so let's go ahead and download this. Now this enable bit will act like memory. The timer timing will only be on after I hit the stop button for the length of the preset. The done bit goes true right away and will stay on while the accumulated is counting to the preset after you have de-energized the timer. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this time base we'll make this four and a half seconds. Okay, so you take 450 multiplied by 0 0.01 and now we'll download. Okay, so here we go. Now, notice the done bit is activated just like it was before but the timer timing has not start. These two outputs that are controlled by these two different contacts off the timer will stay that way forever, okay? Or at least until you activate the middle red button, the stop button that de-energizes the memory contact and that cylinder stayed out for an extra 4.5 seconds and the timer timing was on for four and a half seconds. Let's watch it again. Okay, so we'll wait for the cylinder to get all the way extended then I'll hit the stop button and watch the timer timing. Notice that the green light is on for four and a half seconds and then it shuts off. So the timer timing function and the timer done function 
are very useful on the off delay. Again, you have to be confident of how the timer contacts are going to interact with the timer off delay because they are different than the timer on delay. And that is a little bit about how the timer off delay operates. Okay, you can change the instruction type to examine if open um, for both the enable bit, the done bit, and the timer timing bit. But if you do, if that's the logic you want to follow with your program, you have to be very careful because it is really easy to have an outcome that you can't predict when you start to do things like that with the timer off delay. So this should be a nice introduction to how the off delay works. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.